Have you ever wondered what your life would be like if you lived in a different city, went to a different school or had a different job? Each of these decisions are crucial as they can dramatically change your lived experiences and life outcomes. In other words, they are, you guessed it, forks. In this video, you'll learn about crypto forks, what they are, how they happen, and most importantly, whether Ethereum would get forked and why a fork could potentially destroy Ethereum as the Ethereum merge draws closer. So what does a crypto fork even mean? When it comes to general programming, a fork happens when developers take a copy of code from one software project and start developing it independently from the original project. So if you and your friend were both working on the same open source project and you had an idea to make a change that your friend didn't agree with, you could fork the project, create your own version of the code base and develop it separately. In regards to cryptocurrency, a fork can happen for many reasons. It usually occurs when there is a disagreement among developers about how the code should be improved or changed. Forks can also happen by accident, an unintentional fork, where two miners find blocks at nearly the same time but end up creating different versions of the blockchain. So a fork is essentially a change in protocol or a change in how a blockchain should run. But what are the types of crypto forks? Generally speaking, there are two types of forks, a soft fork and a hard fork. Now let's explain these with examples. What is a soft fork? A soft fork can also be thought of as a change to the cryptocurrency rules that are backward compatible, meaning that these new rules are compatible with the old ones. So all nodes or users running the new version of the software will still accept blocks signed using the old rules. So if you're a miner, for example, you won't have to get a new software to make significant upgrades. This would be like getting a new boss at work you would be able to do your regular job, but you may need to adjust to a new set of rules. So what is a hard fork? A hard fork requires all nodes and users to upgrade to the new version of the protocol software. But simply, a hard fork is a permanent divergence from the previous version of the blockchain and nodes running previous versions will no longer be accepted by the newest version. This would be like if your boss was replaced and the new boss told you that you needed to do your job in a completely different way than before, or you would be fired. Which of these is more dangerous? Well, hard forks are generally considered to be more dangerous because they can lead to temporary network disruptions while everyone is trying to upgrade, and they can also permanently split the blockchain into two different versions. Now that we understand general information about forks, let's move on and talk about the Ethereum forks specifically. First question, is Ethereum likely to get forked again? The answer is that Ethereum is, yes, and here are three reasons why. The first is historical precedence, and that is because, with regards to Ethereum, there have been two types of forks, a soft fork and a hard fork. The first hard fork of Ethereum occurred on July 20th, 2016, and resulted in the creation of Ethereum Classic, ETC. Then on October 25th, 2017, Ethereum forked again and created Ethereum Byzantium, that's ETH. So evidently there have been lots of forks for Ethereum and there is a chance that it could happen again. But there is a silver lining here and we'll get to that in a second. The second reason why Ethereum could be forked is that those who are ready to fork Ethereum have the revenue and motive. According to official reports, Ethereum's proof of work has generated over $19 billion of revenue for miners. Most of these miners and developers have now formed a coalition and plan on forking Ethereum any moment from now. This is a bit of a conundrum because on one hand, if the merge succeeds, ETH 2.0 becomes more environmentally friendly and consumes 99% less electricity. This means there would be no need for miners and heavy mining equipment or hardware. However, these mining hardware costs hundreds of thousands to operate and miners are just not going to throw them away. So, even if they don't succeed at forking ETH, we know they're at least gonna try. The third reason Ethereum could be forked is that many prominent developers and miners have lost faith in the future of ETH 2.0. This was partly caused by the continuous postponement of the merge, which really caused a lot of uncertainty. In fact, a prominent Chinese Ethereum miner named Chandler Guo is attempting to fork Ethereum and maintain a proof-of-work version before the merge happens. Second question, what would a fork mean for Ethereum? If Ethereum were to fork again, it could mean a few different things. First and foremost, it could split the Ethereum community. Just like how Bitcoin Cash, BCH, split the Bitcoin community, 
a fork of Ethereum could lead to a big division among users and developers. Furthermore, it could lead to a creation of a new cryptocurrency. If there is a disagreement among developers about how Ethereum should be improved, they could fork the project and create their own version of Ethereum. This would lead to two different versions of Ethereum, the original version and the forked version. Finally, it could destroy Ethereum entirely. If there is a hard fork and the community is not able to come to a consensus, it could lead to a permanent split of the Ethereum blockchain. This would be catastrophic because it would mean that there would be two different versions of Ethereum and it would be very confusing for users. It could also lead to a lot of loss because people would not know which version of Ethereum to invest in. With all that said, what exactly is the silver lining? Here are three things you should know. The first is that despite the fact that Ethereum would be forked, there is a high chance that the merge would still occur. This is because as of now, there is still a lot of support for the merge from developers and miners. If they are able to come to a consensus, then the fork could be averted. Secondly, despite the threat of forking, there is still a difficulty bomb in the proof-of-work Ethereum blockchain to prevent mining after the merge. A difficulty bomb makes it exponentially difficult to mine ETH on that blockchain even if the fork is successful. This can help deter those who want to deter Ethereum. Lastly, even if Ethereum does get forked, it would not be the end of the world. Ethereum has been through a lot already and it has always come out stronger. A fork would just be another challenge that it would have to overcome. Now you know what forking means and how it could affect Ethereum. But to fully understand why Ethereum could rise soon, make sure you watch this video on your screen.